right, let's do this. Okay. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Crown in me. You just want more cake. Uh, You're gonna find out. I don't know a lot about most everything. G, G, G money, right there in the middle. Okay. Uh, Here we go. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. I feel like every time we start. We are starting. <laughs> we started. Here well, we welcome to Money and Cakes. Seriously Cakes. lighthearted. Episode 12. Yeah, 12. Consistency is key to success. Hopefully. Yes. Hopefully. Someday. Yes. Maybe. Yes. We're lucky. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. we're taking a seriously lighthearted look at the week's events. Yeah. Happenings, whatever crosses our feeds, and just... General things. Just life general in general. Things. Life, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, how's your life? This week was crazy. Mm. This week was crazy. This week was one of those weeks where I hit Wednesday, hoping it was Friday. Hump day? Hump day. So I hit Wednesday, hoping it was Friday, but it still felt like Monday. You know what I mean? Mm. It was just, it was a crazy week. A lot of activity. It was, one, it was just, it was long. It was long. It felt like, it just was long. Okay. But kind of ended, well, I guess the week's still going, but it kind of ended on an interesting note for me. So before I ask you how your Ooh. week was, so yesterday, to cap off the week, I needed some deliciousness. <laughs> so I went to Qdoba. Ah. ah. So on the way to Qdoba, Qdoba's though, you fan. have to go buy Red Robin. Okay. And I had to stop as I'm going in the parking lot. And there was this guy just mug, and I stopped and kind of like just say, "Hey, you know, go ahead and cross." And he just looked at me like, "Why?" Like just keep driving, but he didn't realize there was another car that I was waiting that was backing up mm-hmm. so I could keep going. But he finally realized it, starts walking across, and he had a bottle of A1 sauce in his hand, and I was just like, "That's my idol right there!" Like he was like, <laughs> like at the point where I'm like, "You're so committed, like you know." You're going to be so distraught if you get in there and you ask for A1 and they're like, oh, sir, yeah, we got it. And then you show up at your table, they give you that skinny bottle of A1 sauce that no one buys. And it's like, at it's nubs. So it just, it just made me think like, you have, you know, there's a lot of people mm. that bring that one sauce or that something. They're like, I need this. And he was like that guy. I mean, it was the fat bottle of A1. It wasn't like the little skinny, it was the fat bottle. What do you mean fat? Like the, the full size bottle that's about like that? <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. No, yes. I'm not. <laughs> no, it was the girthy one. Okay. It was the girthy one. Well, because bottle. they got bigger bottles. Well, that, it wasn't they like, got like a the fucking Costco, gallon of it. Like you know what I mean? Size one, but it was, okay. it was the thick one. Like, his hand was gripping this thing. Like, to the point where if he dropped it, you knew his day was ruined. What do you think he was going to order? Fries. He wanted fries? What I don't know. I'm one of those. I, what kind what, of sauces do you bring? See, that's the thing. So, I respected it because I'm one of those that... I'll put A1 sauce on stuff, like, I'll put it on non-steak items. Okay. Eggs, hash browns, you know? Maybe. Like, it's Maybe. A1. Okay. But that's it. I, but I don't, I hope, like, if I go somewhere and they don't have the sauce I want, I'm disappointed, but I'm not going to express it to them. I'm just going to be internally upset. But I just was, I, had, I admired a man that could, he was like, I'm not taking no chances. Life's too well, short. Well, here's another thing, too, now. I have a hard time believing that Red Robin wouldn't have A1. I feel well, like it's a pretty standard sauce to have. Don't they have their own sauces? Yeah, maybe that could be so the key. It could be like But also in restaurants, you know what they do is they marry. So they'll take one bottle and put it into another bottle. So maybe <sighs> it's nasty though. You know, it could be yeah, see, so maybe the person's like, you know, I don't trust it. Oh I don't trust like it. a germ germ thing? Maybe. And I thought about that. I thought about yeah. that. It's like you know, because I don't use my A1 sauce. I licked the top. Ew. So what's up? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I, I, I just had a great visual. I'm just the visual saying, of like, that was Because you know how it like, drips over the side, and if you put the cap on, it gets all hard, and you like turn it off. Oh, yeah, it gets crusty. hard. <laughs> so I'm a top licker. <laughs> <laughs> top licker. I heard it in my head, too, before I said it. But I like, I want it to be smooth going, <laughs> going on and off. But yeah. <laughs> don't, don't use my A1 sauce. That's no, what I'm saying. Yeah, probably, I, 
There's yeah. a lot of sauces in my fridge. Just don't use. I work in restaurants. I see. Uh, <laughs> don't use his sauces. Thank you for telling me that. I mean, I haven't used any of your sauces, but I'm glad. You won't know. Whatever. You won't know. Whatever. But that. I, we I kiss. No big deal. <laughs> no, we no tongue. No tongue. But, you know, I, I've heard about that. That makes sense. If you're a restaurant, you're like, well, they do that with liquor, too, right? Bars and stuff. They're like, oh, I'm at the end of the bottle. Yeah, but you're not supposed of. to do that with liquor. I don't oh. think. What makes it different between, like, liquor and sauces? Oh, well, I think there's, I don't know. I mean, I don't get technical, but I think there's rules because they want to make sure that the you're not putting fake, like, you're taking the oh. expensive bottle and putting the cheap shit in. Yeah, yeah. Right. I saw that on place, a episodes of yeah, Bar Rescue. Places will do that. Right. Put the, like, this oh, is the top shelf, and then they put little, it. Well, I worked in restaurants, and I remember I would see uh, people come in, and they bring all sorts of sauces. Yeah, right. It was, it was like this was, it was uh, particular sauces to like their culture and cuisine, uh-huh. and they would order food, and they'd just have like all these sauces out. I'd be like, yeah, you do you. Because you know, we don't have them. True. Exactly. We don't have, we don't exactly. have the, those flavors they want. Uh, I didn't even think bring, about bring it in. being like a cultural thing. I just thought it was like, because it's... It's a stereotype that there's, I wouldn't say like one race predominantly does that, but there's one race that predominantly will have hot sauce. You ever steal the uh, sugar packets or things like that from the restaurant? Sugar packets? People do that. I believe have like it. The little, they bring you, uh, here's your sugar, and you got all the different sugars, and like someone will like put it in their fucking bag. I feel like that's not even a challenge, though. Like, I get it. Maybe that's like, you actually need sugar. <laughs> but why are you at the restaurant then? I'm just saying that people do that. That is a klepto. Okay, so you don't, yeah. Like sugar packets? You're yeah. just a klepto at this point. You just like, want to yeah, steal a sugar pack. Yeah, I bet there's people in here that stole some sugar. Well, I remember being. I think Amanda's a sticker. Sh- oh, see, I called When it. I was in my 20s, yeah. I, I was knew stealing it. like shot glasses from bars. But okay, had, yeah, of course. Or darts. I don't know. I had a. Darts? Yeah. Those, you were there for some of those. Those little those, gross plastic darts? Like yeah. the red? Stupid. I don't know why I did it. It was just. It was my. Winona Ryder moment. I, was just, I just wanted it. That's right, because you were a good boy growing up. Exactly. You didn't do anything bad. Exactly. I've been stealing since I was in grade school. Because you're good. I grew up hard, brother. And, then, and now you're good. Candy from Safeway. You, you grew up on the mean streets of Skyway. Candy from it. <laughs> Murphed like, into beer like from 7 Eleven. Like, what kind of candy? I don't know, but I got busted every time. I'm just not cut out so for a life of crime. Good at it. I'm not good at hey, crime. If you're gonna commit crimes, like do it before 18. I kept trying though. Do it as a juvenile. I kept trying. Yeah. Like, can I be a? Is this the life for me? No. <laughs> I remember I got I tried to steal a candy bar at uh, Target Federal Way. Okay. And I actually walked out and I didn't do it. Then my friend was like, oh, you. So I went back in and uh, it's like I was already walking around. So like security flagged me like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Son, come with me. <laughs> Called my mom. I was in tears. Tears. Mom came. It's like again. The safe way to me. Oh man. Got caught at you know, and then I didn't steal for a while, and then it was like I get a Jolly Rancher from still a good candy. Yeah, because it's easy. Jolly Rancher was easy. The candy bar was too big. I went too big. It's too much. <laughs> it was that one that said, "What does it say?" Like the super. It was, size? A, it was a hundred grand bar. I was like, I'm about to make a hundred grand. Yeah. <laughs> Probably some stupid boring Hershey chocolate oh, bar. That's funny. That was funny. No, I was I see I hung out with those kids. I wasn't uh, I just I didn't I didn't see the need. I didn't see the need. I don't like it's fifty cents. Actually back then. Oh, it's it great when you got lots of money like you apparently. I mean <laughs> growing up hey, in the Hey, know. look, I sold pencils to kids for pencil fights. I was a hustler. That's right. You were a pencil. I'm a hustler, baby. I'm a hustler. I was Cassidy back You're a hustler. That's right. You've always you have, a you are a hustler, man. You're a businessman, now, entrepreneur since start. Since and the go. problem is, I don't know how they didn't catch on. I bought the cheapest box from Costco. All right, let's just be real. My mom bought the cheapest <laughs> box of pencils from Costco. And then you see that one kid that shows up with that blue pencil that the teacher had? You know, I'm like, just take down kids left to right. Just that one <laughs> and I'd be like, I got your replacement, 25 cents. And it would be the thinnest, skinniest pencil. These kids, they just ate it up. Dude, ate yeah. it up. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneurial spirit. In the bad part my mom knew what I was doing. It wasn't for books. Like, who buys a box? That's your mom supporting you. She's like, this is, 
<laughs> I'm going to support his aunt. His, I she love was investing. She supported investor. a lot of my bad She's habits as a kid. A lot of bad well, habits. Hey, that's you were you were entrepreneur, and I was yeah, trying to right. be a criminal. We I, were mine both hasn't criminals worked out in a way. Probably yeah. was a little bit more smarter than your criminal activity. Yeah. You know, but you were more adventurous, more like uh. I think I was just doing the do things that, you know, boys do growing up, you know what I mean? Trying to prove myself, you know, steal this. To other, yeah, true, true, true. Mm. And I was piggybacking off of your guys' stupidity and making money. You're profiting off our stupidity. <laughs> oh, it's like these stupid kids. It was profit. one of those things where I okay. can honestly say I did not get a lot of lunch money from my mom because I didn't need it. Mm. Oh, you provided it for me. Thank it's you, nice. guys. Appreciate it. Uh, like, I mean, we were true, like, I mean, box of baseball cards, basketball cards. I mean, we would go to Costco and just stock up. I mean, to the point when me and my brother sold toilet paper, like, like the hand wipes. Now, this is a great story. We would sell hand wipes outside of the Fremont Market, literally across from the porta potty And I would tell my brother, anytime someone walked out and didn't buy one, point at him and say, you're nasty. <laughs> and he would do it nasty. And then they'd be like, oh, oh hold on a second. I got on. $2. How I many you got to give them $2? Give it to us. <laughs> and my grandmother provided like our initial stock. I think she provided it. Either we stole it or we got it. We, she provided it. I can't remember. Entrepreneur, we, man. It was, and it, I think, I don't know, what were you like, six or something? Five? It was five. So he's like, you're nasty. And they like, was so loud about it, you know? And I'm just like, 25 cents, you know? We made money. And then just blew it on cookies. And shit. That's so cute. What a cute story. We had hustles, man. Man, we I had wish had I could hustles. see that. If I had a time machine, that's what I would go back oh, to man. see. Little, little hand wipes. Little hand wipes. And, little hand and, wipes, and his man. brother, I got to find a nickname for him. And making making people feel very uncomfortable while doing so. It's like, <laughs> what, man? Oh, Lord. Lord. But then again, you know? Good, yeah. Well, I did get jobs, though, too, and I was like, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. But I realized my life of crime. I kept trying, but I was like, at least you know, didn't I still get was legit. I would have been mad at if you would have been like, oh, after the first candy bar, I, 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 I threw in the towel. The fact that you kept trying mm -hmm. shows a lot. Yeah. You know, actually, I'm, I'm glad. I mean, you haven't asked me about my it. week, and that's fine. I was we're, getting we're to rolling, but, I even told but I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna just talk about this here. Can I know about your week, please? Yes, but not yet. Oh, wow. No, see, no, that well, we're talking, me, like, nah. we're, ta you we're talking about, about um, you know, in one of these past episodes, I talked about one of my career, I, when I tried out a career path. <laughs> right. Of... <laughs> Right. And how unsuccessful I was. Right. From, and now we from see the why. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, me trying to, mm -hmm. you know, from the first time I tried stealing when I probably got, I got caught. Yeah. Till the uh, story. Which lasted, right. like, a week or two. Right. And right. it was only, you can't be coming back and trying to. I'm glad I, I didn't. It, I'm glad I didn't. It sound like there's pending cases or something. I know there could be. I, I'm glad I didn't because I, don't think was I read an article when I was doing my scrolling. What oh, came okay. up on my feeds okay. was an article. Overworked and they're stressed. <laughs> and I'm like, thank goodness I didn't choose that it's career path, such man. An HR perspective. Like, I'm like, <laughs> let me get this up. I want to sit down with you. Like, are you okay? Like, how's your work week been? Well, finding the always on culture. A chore. The always on culture. Always on. <laughs> so it says there are many reasons to avoid the actual pay of the lower ranking dealers averaged a meager $3.30 an hour or $5.80 in today's money. So they did a study back okay. in the day. Now, with the rare occasion that someone blows up, like a Pablo Escobar or some. Okay. Because they're working 24 7. They have to be ready yeah. at any time. So, so back in the day, it was like you just had a pager. Okay. Get your page, but now with like all the technologies of GPS tracking, this is what the, uh -huh. the the big guys are doing. Okay, they're tracking them like Amazon drivers. They're knowing every single thing that's going on. <laughs> like I'm two stops away. So you can't even <laughs> stop and talk to that shody. Be like, what up, girl? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know you can't talk to the shody. Oh, like, I got I got a commitment. He's like, what guy? happened over here on 52nd and Anderson? You were here for 10 minutes and you didn't make it. It's like, I don't know, I was talking to the shody. So, you know. 
What's the? I can't even try to be get the like performance review. Like I don't know. <laughs> it's like I need you back. Like, Hustle you, you in. Didn't quite make your quota this week. Like we're just so first off. I just want to talk to you, Henderson. I just want. Where are we? Where did we go wrong? How can we help you improve? Like, but here's the thing, though. It's like, and uh, so yeah, it's you're always on. You got all okay. these things, and it's. It's like here, it says the anxiety that we feel as adults in the workplace is sort of amplified because, you know, again, okay. uh, says the for dealers, it's not get down here or you'll be fired. It's get down here now. And I think they were being kind. <laughs> so, so I feel like they're going to start asking for like standardized pay or something like, you know, on this one, <laughs> like you're underpaid and overworked. Uh, you know what the problem is? If they complain, there's going to be like automated machines, like going to be out of business that way. Like, <laughs> Like, now you want standardized pay? It should be. Oh we already God. talked about this in an off-show conversation. True, true. Personally, you know, just legalize everything. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Stay in school. <laughs> you got any more? Don't be a... Wasn't that, wasn't that Mr. T that said that? Don't... What? Don't be a fool. Stay in school. Wasn't that Mr. T? He might have... He I probably think that was Mr. Did. T, right? He probably had some, like, stay in school campaigns. Yeah. Back in the 90s. That. Just say so you no. Know, I was all... I got indoctrinated so hard by Nancy Reagan. Anyway. <laughs> I just thought we were talking about the career and the criminality, yes, and yes, then yeah, yes. it came in. It was like natural. Okay. Anyway, my week has been fine. Again, as normal, I really don't remember much of it. Right, right. Um, uh, but I did try to go get a haircut today. What do you mean try? Like, what? I failed. How? I didn't bring a mask. Oh. Because, you know. I, no, I mean, I'm trying to get my haircut. <laughs> And it was. It wasn't. It wasn't haircut. necessarily last like spur of the most. Like I was. I was kind of thinking about it all day in my normal place. Didn't have an appointment until four thirty. So okay. I was like, oh, what about some other place? And so I kind of. It's like oh, I'll go shopping. So I went shopping and then, I, I made an appointment. Like checked in and I walked in and I saw at the door it said you know you have to wear a mask. I was like, walked in anyway. <laughs> and um, then the person said. Uh, can I help you? And I'm like, oh, I made, I checked in for an appointment for Erica. Okay. She's like, right. can you put your mask on? I was like, oh, I don't have a mask. So she, she labeled you. And then I was like, uh, do you, do you perhaps have a mask right. like for a customers? Yeah. And she was like, you're supposed to bring one. <laughs> she said, no, stupid. Yeah. And, but, but I just kind of was, you know, I was like, mm. I walked out. I didn't go back. That is always your reaction, though. Hmm. Well, I mean, I could have said, ma'am, the mask mandates are lifted. There are no restrictions. Now, I understand right. your business is requiring right. them, but it didn't say so on your website. <laughs> so another way you could have handled this. You got to get hella technical. <laughs> yeah, because I looked. You were going to get sassy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean... I, it, so let me say, part okay. of my job of what I do is I hear people say yes. things yes. and then I'm like, hmm, maybe next time you can say this because it has more customer service hospitality. True. True. So, yeah, I, I went without a mask. I wanted to see because in my place, okay. we provide masks to people who don't bring theirs. But you would think they would, too, if they required it. She's but. like, no, you're supposed to bring yours. Something like, one doesn't say one It's like, I get it. I, I gave it a shot because I wanted to know if they had a mask. Okay. But here's the thing. She could have said, and I wasn't going to talk about <laughs> I, I was like, I'm not going to talk about it. I was like, you know what? Because like I said, part of my job is when I hear people say things that aren't as hospitable as it could be, okay. I try to correct them to be more hospitable. Okay. Even if that means I direct them to a different business if we can't handle their their needs. I will say, okay. this is a place you should go. Okay. Yeah. She should have said this. Okay. No, unfortunately, we do not provide masks. But uh, if you like, you can go down to the store right down the street. You know, right down the block and right. buy one and come back and we'd be happy to cut your hair. Man, yeah, And I would have done so. Right. <laughs> but instead, I walked out knowing <laughs> knowing full well I could walk down to the grocery right, store right. like it's like two doors right. down and buy a mask. Right. Because her hospitality sucked. But whatever. It's, it's a big I get deal. it, though. It's like I sh I'm, although it's like I get it, though. You're in this intimate situation with someone who's doing your hair. Like you're right here. Guess, so you're real intimate. It's like, I, sh you know, but I had a mask like right where my wallet because, you know. So you still could have walked back to the car? Or are you saying like Matt? Like, no, no, no. At home. home. At home. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, I get, I get from both percent, but it's like. If she would have just. to just approach you differently. A little softer, a little kinder, a little bit more. She was like, like, <laughs> no, you're supposed to bring your own. Did she give you those same eyes? Oh, she gave me eyes. <laughs> there was attitude and eyes. And I was like, 
Did you see those eyes? Uh, I was like, <laughs> and then I, I fired up Google to give a review and I was like, I'm not going to do that. You were going to go that far? Yeah. I could have went full Karen. You're about to show your I was age gonna go too. full You're Karen like, on this. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm not an anti-masker vaxxer. Right. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> I've just been vaxxed and I'm, I'm, fr I'm free. I'm done doing my right? thing. You should just whip out your sack and be like, look. But I was about to. Vaxxer. Everybody looked at me like. Oh, there was other people just oh, like. Oh, there, there was they full. They gave you the shame eyes. It was like, full. As they're all. I know they're talking. <laughs> like, God, it's guys like him. <laughs> He's oh probably got gosh. the Delta variant. <laughs> You really thought they went that far? Yeah, they were all. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They were all. And Delta Airlines is like, we got nothing to do with that, you know? <laughs> Speaking of airlines. Oh. Have you duct tape to the seat? They <laughs> you didn't see that? What? No. I don't know if it was Delta. <laughs> I got it in here. So, like, it was a two-hour flight only. Okay. The flight takes Quick. off, and as they're ascending, apparently, or one hour into okay. the flight, a woman freaks out. She tries to open the door. Oh, man. And the guy sitting next to her says, like, she continuously got more agitated, more agitated, okay. more agitated. Okay. And then, like, she, she like, uh, jumped up, and, like, the people are running around, the flights, you know, attendants and stuff. And she tried to open the door. Why are all those people always in the seat with the door, though? Well, I don't know if she was in the seat with the door. And they'll pull it up. I mean, keep you talking. It up. But it's just, I'm just saying, like, there's only two of them they could quickly access. You know what I mean? Like, how are they getting there? You know, someone's just, like, looking at them, like, charging down the aisle. And they're just trying to, you know, that's like some snakes uh, on the plane. It's American Airlines. Oh, man, for American. <laughs> and they're, they're. It says, woman is duct taped to her seat after trying to open plane door mid-flight, oh. airline says. And it was on TikTok, dude. Now you know how'd you how miss I it? Am. You know how I am. Who had the duct tape? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, like someone's like, oh, There's here always it duct tape on <laughs> a plane. I would think there's always. Ooh. It's like all Ooh. purpose. It's not part of the, bed on, here's the duct tape, stretch it out. Like, who has duct tape? I wouldn't be surprised the if it's on The same guy that has duct tape in his trunk when the cops ask him oh. what you got in the trunk. Just some rope and duct tape and trash bags. Tell me you don't got duct tape in your trunk? No, I keep it in the back seat. I thought that was standard. I keep it in the back seat oh, okay. so I don't get Quick suspicious. Access. The oh, okay. rope and the trash bags are in the trunk. Don't Jesus put them all Christ. together. It becomes a kit. <laughs> <laughs> They're all <laughs> That's like I mean like I watch a lot of crime shows. You're, yeah, you really turn this into a lot of crime something. shows. You've really taken it down the road. But, like, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like there's receipts for everything. Like, just because you don't keep the physical receipt doesn't mean they don't have the transaction. But they're always surprised, like, oh, how'd you know? Like, you went to Walmart at 3.36 a.m. and bought duct tape, rope, trash bags, and a chainsaw. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same people that commit crimes with their cell phone on them. Mm. But there's the same ones that are worried about, like, uh, oh, they're tracking me. Not my cell phone I know. that pings sure. off of every tower I drive by. No, just stupid people. Well, it's because, I mean, I'm going to continue with the airline thing. I hope that's not you guys. If I offended you, I just, I just think that it's <laughs> conspiracy theories have to be just a little bit stupid. Right? It's like you have to overlook the actual obvious. Like you are, you have a phone in your Until pocket. Everybody right, knows where you are if you have a phone. Yes. They can always find you. Yes. Always. Yes. Because you got a phone. Yes. Sure. Or they just said you were in this. They'll show Excuse you the me. bubble you're yeah. in. For a more case. Uh, K -K 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 -K. You're going to find out. I don't know a lot about most everything. G, G, G money right there in the middle. Case. Uh. Here we go.